In this video, we'll learn to evaluate expressions and make substitutions in given formula in words and symbols. So we'll start with expressions. And I've given two examples of them in words. So the first one is when hiring a taxi from ABC Taxis, you pay two pounds per each mile you're traveling and a one pound booking fee. How much would you pay if you traveled 6.2 miles. So if you traveled 6.2 miles, that means that you'd have to pay two pounds per each mile. So that is 6.2 times two, and then add a one pound booking fee on top of that. So 6.2 times two or two times 6.2, because that's easier to do, that would give us 12.4. Add the one, which is booking fee, that gives us in total 13 pounds and 40 pence. So we've worked it out and that means we've actually evaluated an expression given in words. But what would this be like if we had it in symbols? So we'd write two, so that's two pounds, so write two per each mile. So two times M, but a shorter way to write it would be just two M. Because in maths, when you have multiplication and it's letters and numbers mixed together, you don't need to write the multiplication symbol because it can be confusing as it looks like an X. So two lots of M, so miles multiplied by two plus one. So we do the same thing, we'd work it out by replacing M with 6.2 miles. So two lots of 6.2 plus one, and that gives us 13.4 or 13 pounds, 40 pence. So if it was five miles, then it'd be five times two, 10 plus one, 11, 11 pounds. Now let's look at another example. In a shop, a banana costs six pence and an apple costs five p. How much would you have to pay for eight bananas and seven apples? So again, we're looking at eight bananas and each of them costs six pence. So I'll do eight times six and then we'll add to it seven times five because there are seven apples and they cost five pence each. So that means eight times six, which is 48, and seven times five, which is 35. So what we're gonna do now, add these together. Notice how I multiplied, did the multiplication first and then added these two amounts together, big mass. So, 40 and 30 is 70, 8 and 5 is 13, 70 and 13 is 83. So 83 what? What's the unit? <coughs> we input pens in both cases, so our answer will be in pens. <coughs> How this look like in symbols? So again, what did we multiply? It was 6 pens, so 6 for each banana, so you could say 6b, six, 6 lots of b, 6 multiplied by b, add to it 5 times five times 7, but we don't, 5 times 7 apples was specifically, but we don't need to write the number of apples and we don't need to write the multiplication sign, so I'll just write 5a. Because in this way, I can input any number of bananas or apples 
and still get the answer for the total cost. So in this case we replaced B with 8, so 8 bananas and apple with 7. So that gave us 83 pence. But it could be, let's say, five bananas, so five times six, 30, and six apples, six times five, 30 again, so 60 pence in total. So you can have any number of apples or bananas. So as you can see, expressions look like different terms together. So this is one term where we've got numbers and letters and then we have added one to it so that's another term and if you look at this one we've got 6b so a number in a letter and then a number in a letter so typically this is how they look like there is no equation sign for or symbol for expressions because they're not equations they're not formula that is how expressions look like like this or like that or you could have one first one plus two n but this is how they look like typically